Extreme Sketching, a part two, Victor Vasali, influenced by the artist. Victor was the godfather of op art. His zebra piece, created in the 1930s, is held as one of the first pieces of op art. His work has a chemical feel to it because he studied medicine, not art, at university. Explore media, materials and techniques. You must explore more than one design. Remember to fill the page. We want a full sketchbook with every page full of ideas. Choose similar colours to the artist's work. Cubes we learnt how to create in an earlier video. This design is nearly all angular without any curves to make it contrast with other designs. Create as many designs as you can. We want to fill the page. Add comments linking the design with the inspiration to explain how you created the design. Don't make the design too complicated. I am adding shading to make the circles look spherical, making them look more three-dimensional, very similar to other examples of Victor's work. This will be mentioned in the comments. Write the comments as you go along, don't leave them all till the end. Adding a little bit of orange to contrast the yellow. If you don't have a stencil you can use a flexi curve to create the pattern. Or alternatively, just get a cereal packet and cut your own stencil. Other makes of cereal are available. Remember to save the stencil to add into your sketchbook. Another design using different sides of circles. Try and make all the designs different so you can show the examiner the breadth of your ideas. Purple and yellow work very well together. Develop and progress the idea. This page shows the colour samples that I used to decide which colours to use. Add notes and comments to explain what you are doing and remember to fill the page. Here are some slightly larger designs done in more detail. Using a stencil to make it slightly smaller than the page and then adding the design. This will give some space around the edge for adding comments and also makes it look a little bit neater. Again using the stencil to add the lines and moving the stencil over to the right each time trying to make the shapes look a bit like a ribbon. And then I'm using the colours that I've already tested earlier in the book so the examiner can see the link between your tests and the final piece you have developed. The aim is that the sketchbook tells a story of how you got inspired by the artist, test and develop your ideas and then finally produce your final piece. Following the four stages, 
will allow you to complete the task properly and you won't have to fake comments and descriptions at the end because you will have done the process properly and got the highest possible grade. Keep checking your work as you go along that you are getting the effect that you want. If the piece isn't quite right, leave that one half done and start another one. You don't have to always finish the large pieces. Sometimes leaving one half done will tell a story. I'm just adding some slight reflections now in the red and yellow to make it look like the spheres. I've got a shiny surface. Don't forget to make sure all the comments show your personal response. Hope you like the video. Don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button.